we're going to insert images into this page. I'm logged in and my user has permission to edit, so I'll click edit here. We need to change the input format. On this website, Layout Artist is the name of the user group that has permission to edit the layout and insert images. Once we've selected that, the WYSIWYG editor that's been installed appears, and we can click here to insert an image. Now we'll enter the URL of the image that we'll be adding, and we want to include an image description here. We're going to give credit to the photographer, and we're going to describe the image. There's advanced options such as how you would like the text to, to fall around your image. Now we can resize. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and move this flash object also. For this, I'm going to insert a table. I don't want a table for my image to go into because it'll limit some of the functionality later. But as long as we're here, we're going to go ahead and insert a table for the flash object. That way we can get everything to line up properly. and I'll resize. When I do this I need to make sure that I'm clicking on the flash object itself not the table. Otherwise I'll just resize my table not the flash object. I will go ahead and insert some text here. And if you've done anything to change the flash or any other tags or coding, you want to make sure that you save with an, um, a user that will allow you to um, embed the PHP code or the tags. So for us, we need to switch to PHP code, which is the uh, default that comes with Drupal. And we'll go ahead and save. There's a lot of other options when you do this. You can create an image map, you can, um, you can do several different things, but I just wanted to show you here how the text will flow around without adding a table. Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We'll do what we can to help you.